Selections from the Profitable Store of the Reward of Good Deeds Part 5 The Reward of Supplicating for a Fellow Muslim in His Absence Abu Ad-Darda, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. No Muslim supplicates for his fellow Muslim in his absence, except that the angel will say, and you shall have the same. Narrated by Muslim, 2732 The Reward of Istighfar Abu Dar, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Prophet, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, related that Allah Almighty said. O oh my servants, you sin by night and by day, and I forgive all sins, so seek forgiveness of me and I shall forgive you. Narrated by Muslim, 2577 The Reward of Invoking Allah's Blessings Upon the Prophet Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. Whoever invokes Allah's blessings upon me once, Allah will bestow his blessings upon him ten times. Narrated by Muslim, 408 The Reward of Kindness to One as Parents Ibn Masudi, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, a man asked the Prophet, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, which deed is best. He said, Prayer at its appointed time and kindness to one's parents. Narrated by Al-Bukhari, 7534, and Muslim, 140. Abdullah ibn Amr ibn al az may Allah be pleased with him, reported. A man came to the Prophet of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, and said, I pledge allegiance to you for emigration and jihad, seeking reward from Allah. He asked. Is any of your parents alive? He said, yes, both of them. He then asked, do you want to seek reward from Allah? He replied in the affirmative. Thereupon, the Prophet, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said, go back to your parents and keep good company with them. Narrated by Muslim, 2549 Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Prophet, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. Let him be humbled into dust, let him be humbled into dust, let him be humbled into dust. It was said, who is he, O Messenger of Allah? He said, he who finds either of his parents during their old age or both of them, yet he does not enter paradise. Narrated by Muslim, 2551 The Reward of Upholding Kinship Ties Anas ibn Malik, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. Whoever wants to have his provision expanded and his term of life prolonged should uphold his ties of kinship. Narrated by al-Bukhari, 5986, and Muslim, 2557 Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Prophet, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. Allah created all the creatures and when he finished their creation, the Rahim, kinship, said, at this place I seek refuge with you against severing my ties. Allah said. Are you pleased that I treat with kindness those who treat you with kindness and sever ties with those who sever ties with you? It said, yes, O Lord. Allah said. Then this is yours. Then, the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said, Recite this verse if you like. Then if you turn away, what else can be expected but that you will spread corruption in the land and sever your ties of kinship? Narrated by al-Bukhari, 5987, and Muslim, 2554. Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, A man said, O Messenger of Allah, I have relatives with whom I uphold kinship ties, but they sever relations with me. I treat them kindly, but they treat me badly. And I am gentle with them, but they are rough to me. He replied. If you are as you say, it is as if you are feeding them hot ashes, and you will have a supporter against them from Allah as long as you continue to do so. Narrated by Muslim, 2558. The Reward of Spending on One's Wife and Children Abu Masudi, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Prophet, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. If a man spends on his family seeking reward from Allah, it counts as charity for him. Narrated by Al-Bukhari, 55, and Muslim, 1002. Am Sulama, may Allah be pleased with her, reported, I said, O Messenger of Allah, will I receive a reward if I spend on Abu Salama's children? In fact, they are my children. He replied, spend on them and you will get a reward for what you spend on them.
narrated by Al-Bukhari, 1467, and Muslim, 1001. Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. A dinar you spend in Allah's way, a dinar you spend to free a slave, a dinar you give in charity to a needy person, and a dinar you spend on your household. The one yielding the greatest reward is what you spend on your household. Narrated by Muslim, 995. Sa'd ibn Abi Waqqas, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, told me. You do not spend anything by which you desire the countenance of Allah, except that you are rewarded for it, even what you place in your wife's mouth. Narrated by Al-Bukhari, 56, and Muslim, 1628. The reward of one who has two daughters or sisters and treats them patiently and kindly, Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, reported. A woman came to me having two of her daughters with her. She asked me for something, but I could not find anything except for a single date which I gave her. She divided it between her daughters and then got up and left. The Prophet, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, came in and I told him what had happened. He said, whoever is put to trial by having some daughters and he treats them kindly, they will act as a shield for him from hellfire. Narrated by Al-Bukhari, 1418, and Muslim, 2629, Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, reported. A poor woman came to me along with her daughters. I gave her three dates. She gave a date to each of them and then she took up one date and brought it to her mouth in order to eat it, but her daughters expressed desire to eat it. So, she divided the date that she intended to eat between them. Her act impressed me, and I mentioned that to the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, who said. Verily Allah has assured paradise for her because of it, or he has rescued her from hellfire because of it. Narrated by Muslim, 2630. Anas ibn Malik, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. Whoever supports two girls till they attain maturity, he and I will come on the day of resurrection like this, joining his fingers. Narrated by Muslim, 2631. The reward of one who works to support a widow or a poor person. Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Prophet, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. He who strives to support a widow, or a poor person is like a warrior in the cause of Allah or one who prays all night and fasts all the day. Narrated by Al-Bukhari, 5353, and Muslim, 2982. The Reward of Sponsoring Orphans Saul, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. I and the one who sponsors an orphan will be like this in paradise, pointing his middle and index fingers and separating them. Narrated by Al-Bukhari, 5304. Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. I and the one who sponsors an orphan, whether for himself or for someone else, will be like these two in paradise, indicating his middle and index fingers. Narrated by Muslim, 2983, his saying, whether for himself or for someone else, means whether the orphan is one of his relatives or not. The reward of one who visits a fellow Muslim. Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Prophet, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. As a man set out to visit a brother, in faith, in another town, Allah sent an angel on his way. When the man met the angel, the latter asked him, where do you intend to go? He said, I intend to visit my brother in this town. The angel said, have you done any favor to him, that you may want repayment for it? He said, no, I only love him for the sake of Allah Almighty. Thereupon, the angel said, I am a messenger to you from Allah to inform you, that Allah loves you, as you love him for his sake. Narrated by Muslim, 2567 The reward of one who fulfills the needs of fellow Muslims Abdullah ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. A Muslim is the brother of a Muslim, he should not wrong him or abandon him. Whoever cares for his brother's need, Allah will care for his need. Whoever removes a Muslim's distress, Allah will relieve him of one of the distresses of the day of resurrection.
And whoever conceals a Muslim's fault, Allah will conceal his fault on the day of resurrection. Narrated by Al-Bukhari, 2442, and Muslim, 2580. Abu Qatada, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, I heard the messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, say. Whoever is pleased that Allah should save him from the distresses of the day of resurrection should give respite to an insolvent debtor or remit his debt. Narrated by Muslim, 1563. Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. Whoever relieves a believer of one of the distresses of this world, Allah will relieve him of one of the distresses of the day of resurrection. Whoever makes it easy for an insolvent debtor, Allah will make it easy for him in this world and in the hereafter. And whoever conceals the faults of a Muslim, Allah will conceal his faults in this world and in the hereafter, and Allah helps his servant as long as he helps his brother. Narrated by Muslim, 2699. The reward of one who visits a sick person. Thaban, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. Whoever visits a sick person will continue to be in the kurfat of paradise. It was said, what is the kurfat of paradise, O messenger of Allah? He said. It's fruit garden. Narrated by Muslim, 2568. Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. Allah Almighty will say on the day of resurrection, O son of Adam, I fell ill, and you did not visit me, he will say. O Lord, how could I visit you when you are the Lord of the worlds? He will say, did you not know that my servant so and so had fallen ill, and you did not visit him? Did you not know that had you visited him, you would have surely found me with him? O oh, son of Adam, I asked you for food and you did not feed me, he will say. O oh, Lord, how could I feed you when you are the Lord of the worlds? He will say, Did you not know that my servant so and so asked you for food and you did not feed him? Did you not know that had you fed him, you would have surely found that with me? O oh, son of Adam, I asked you to give me water to drink and you did not give me water to drink. He will say. O oh, Lord, how could I give you water to drink when you are the Lord of the worlds? He will say, My servant so and so asked you to give him water to drink and you did not give him water to drink. Had you given him water to drink, you would have surely found that with me. Narrated by Muslim, 2569. The Reward of Truthfulness Hakim Ibn Hizm, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, The Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. Both parties in a business transaction have a right to annul it so long as they have not separated. If they tell the truth and make everything clear, they will be blessed in their transaction, but if they conceal anything and lie, the blessing of their transaction will be blotted out. Narrated by Al-Bukhari, 2079, and Muslim, 1532. Abdullah ibn Masudi, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. Adhere to truthfulness, for indeed truthfulness leads to piety, and piety leads to paradise, and a man continues to tell the truth until he is recorded as truthful with Allah. Beware of falsehood, for indeed falsehood leads to wickedness, and wickedness leads to hellfire, and a man continues to lie and is keen on lying until he is recorded as a liar with Allah. Narrated by Al-Bukhari, 6094, and Muslim, 2607. The Reward of Forgiveness and Humbleness Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. Charity does not decrease wealth. And no one forgives except that Allah increases him in honor, and no one humbles himself except that Allah elevates him. Narrated by Muslim, 2588 The Reward of Leniency in All Matters Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, reported, the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. Oh, Aisha, Allah is kind, and he loves kindness. He gives for kindness what he does not give for harshness and does not give for anything else beside it. Narrated by Muslim, 2593. In another version by him, 2594, kindness does not exist in anything except that it adorns it, and it is not withdrawn from anything except that it makes it defective. The reward of one who conceals the fault of a fellow Muslim. 
Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Prophet, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said, no one conceals the fault of another in this world except that Allah will conceal his fault on the Day of Judgment. Narrated by Muslim, 2590 The Reward of Seeking Reconciliation among people Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. There is charity to be given for every joint of the human body every day the sun rises. Judging justly between two persons is charity, helping a man concerning his riding animal by helping him to ride it or by lifting his luggage onto it is charity, a good word is charity. And every step one takes to the prayer is charity, and removing a harmful thing from the way is charity. Narrated by Al-Bukhari and Muslim His words, judging justly between two persons, mean, settling their dispute or reconciling them in a just manner. The reward of one who defends the honor of a fellow Muslim in his absence. Abu Ad-Darda, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Prophet, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. Whoever defends his brother's honor in his absence, Allah will protect his face from hellfire on the day of resurrection. Narrated by at he classified it as Hassan, good. The reward of love for the sake of Allah Almighty. Anas, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, a man asked the Prophet, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, when will the hour be? He said. And what have you prepared for it? The man said, nothing, except that I love Allah and his messenger. The Prophet, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. You will be with those you love. We had never been so glad as we were on hearing the Prophet's statement, you will be with those you love. Therefore, hope the Prophet, Abu Bakr, and Umar, and hope that I will be with them because of my love for them, although my deeds are not similar to theirs. Narrated by Al-Bukhari, 3688, and Muslim, 2639. Abdullah ibn Masudi, may Allah be pleased with him, reported. A man came to the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, and said. O oh, Messenger of Allah, what do you think of a man who loves some people but does not catch up with them? He said. A man will be with those he loves. Narrated by al-Bukhari, 6169, and Muslim, 2640. Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. Indeed, Allah will say on the Day of Judgment, where are those who love one another for my glory? Today I cover them in my shade on a day when there is no shade but mine. Narrated by Muslim, 2566. The reward of patience over affliction, even if little. Abu Sa'id al-Qudri, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said, and whoever tries to be patient, Allah will give him patience. No one is granted a gift better and more comprehensive than patience. Narrated by al-Bukhari, 1469, and Muslim, 1053, Abu Malik al-Ash'ari, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said, patience is light. Narrated by Muslim, 223. Ada ibn Abi Rabah related, Ibn Abbas said to me, may I show you a woman of paradise, said, yes. He said, here is this black woman. She came to the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, and said, I suffer from fits of epilepsy and become uncovered. So, supplicate, to, Allah for me. He said, be patient, if you will, and you will be rewarded with paradise. And if you will, I will supplicate, to, Allah to cure you. She said, I will be patient. Then, she said, I become uncovered. So, supplicate, to, Allah that I do not become uncovered. He supplicated for her. Narrated by Al-Bukhari, 5652, and Muslim, 2576. Abu Sa'id al-Qudri and Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with both of them, reported, the Prophet, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. No believer suffers fatigue, pain, sorrow, sadness, or distress, even if it were the pricking of a thorn. Except that Allah will expiate some of his sins for that, narrated by al-Bukhari and Muslim.
The version by Muslim reads, No believer suffers fatigue, pain, illness, or sadness, even a distress that concerns him, except that some of his sins will be expiated for that. Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, reported. The Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. No affliction befalls a Muslim except that Allah will expiate some of his sins for it, even if it were the pricking of a thorn. Narrated by Al-Bukhari and Muslim. In another version by Muslim, no believer suffers from a thorn or anything greater than that except that Allah will remove some of his sins because of it. Another version reads, except that Allah will raise him one degree and blot out his sins because of it. In another version by him, some young men from the Quraysh visited Aisha when she was in Mina, and they were laughing. She said, what makes you laugh? They said, such and such person stumbled against the rope of the tent, and he was about to break his neck or lose his eyes. She said, do not laugh, for I heard the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, say. No believer suffers from a thorn or anything greater than that except that Allah will give him a degree because of it and a sin will be removed from him due to it. Ibn Masyudi, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. No Muslim is afflicted by injury, be it illness or something else. Except that Allah will cause his sins to drop away just as a tree sheds its leaves because of that. Narrated by Al-Bukhari and Muslim The Reward of Fever Jabir ibn Abdullah, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, visited him as Sa'ibi, or Am al-Muzayib, and asked her. What is wrong with you, O Am as Sa'ibi, or Am al-Muzayib? You are shivering. She replied, it is fever, may Allah not bless it. He said to her. Do not revile fever, for it cleanses out the sins of the children of Adam in the same way that a furnace removes the dirt of iron. Narrated by Muslim, 2575. Abdullah, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, I visited the Prophet, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, during his illness and he was suffering from a high fever. I said, you have a high fever. Is it because you will have a double reward for it? He said. Yes, for no Muslim is afflicted with any harm except that Allah will remove his sins as the leaves of a tree fall down. Narrated by Al-Bukhari, 5647, and Muslim, 2571. The reward of one who loses eyesight and shows patience. Anas ibn Malik, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, I heard the Prophet, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, say. If I afflict my servant in his two loved things, and he shows patience, I will compensate him for them with paradise. His two loved things, his eyes. Narrated by Al-Bukhari, 5653. The reward of removing harm from the way. Abu Dar, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Prophet, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. The deeds of my Ummah, good and bad, were presented before me, and I found the removal of harmful objects from the way among their good deeds. And phlegm left unburied in the mosque among their evil deeds. Narrated by Muslim, 553. Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. While a man was walking, he saw a thorny branch on the road and removed it. Allah appreciated his action and forgave him. Narrated by Al-Bukhari, 652, and Muslim, 1914. Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. A man passed by a branch of a tree leaning over a road and and said. By Allah, I will remove this from the way of Muslims so that it would not harm them. He was admitted to paradise because of that. Narrated by Muslim, 1914. Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Prophet, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. I saw a man going about in paradise because of a tree he cut from the path which was a source of inconvenience to people. Narrated by Muslim, 1914. The reward of one who kills a snake or a gecko. Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. Whoever kills a gecko with the first blow, a hundred good deeds will be recorded for him, less if he kills it at the second, and less still if he kills it at the third. Narrated by Muslim, 2240. The Reward of the Truthful and Honest Trader. 
Hakim Ibn Hizm, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. Both parties in a business transaction have a right to annul it so long as they have not separated. If they tell the truth and make everything clear, they will be blessed in their transaction, but if they conceal anything and lie, the blessing of their transaction will be blotted out. Narrated by Al-Bukhari, 2110, and Muslim, 1532. The Reward of Leniency in Buying and Selling Jabir ibn Abdullah, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. May Allah have mercy on a man who is lenient when he sells, lenient when he buys, and lenient when he asks for payment. Narrated by Al-Bukhari, 2076. The Reward of Guarding One's Chastity Out of Fear from Allah Almighty Saul ibn Saad, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. Whosoever gives me a guarantee to safeguard what is between his jaws and what is between his legs, I will guarantee him paradise. Narrated by Al-Bukhari, 6474. What is between his jaws, the tongue? What is between his legs, the sex organs? The reward of repentance honest Ibn Malik, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. Verily, Allah is more pleased with the repentance of his servant than a person who has his camel in a waterless desert carrying his provision of food and drink, and it is lost. He, having lost all hope, lies down in the shade and is disappointed about his camel, then all of a sudden, he finds it standing before him. He takes hold of its reins and then, out of extreme joy, blurts out, O oh Allah, you are my servant, and I am your Lord. He commits this mistake out of extreme joy. Narrated by Muslim, 2747 The reward of doing good deeds when corruption is prevalent. Makil ibn Yasar, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. Worship during the time of turmoil and trials is like emigrating to me. Narrated by Muslim, 2948 The Reward for the Poor and Weak People Imran ibn Husayn, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Prophet, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. I looked into paradise and found poor people forming the majority of its inhabitants, and I looked into hellfire and found that the majority of its inhabitants were women. Narrated by al-Bukhari, 3241, and Muslim, 2737, from Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him. Osama, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Prophet, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. I stood at the gate of paradise and saw that the majority of the people who entered it were the poor, while the wealthy were stopped at the gate. But the dwellers of hellfire were ordered to be taken to hellfire. Then, I stood at the gate of hellfire and saw that the majority of those who entered it were women. Narrated by Al-Bukhari, 5196, and Muslim, 2736. Thaban, may Allah be pleased with him, reported. While I was standing beside the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, one of the rabbis of the Jews came and said, I have come to ask you. He said. Should that thing be of any benefit to you if I tell you? He said. I will lend my ears to it. The Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, drew a line with a stick he had with him and then said, Ask. Thereupon, the Jew said, Where will the people be on the day the earth will be replaced by another earth, and the heavens as well? The Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said, They will be in darkness below the bridge. He said, Who amongst people will be the first to cross? He said, The poor among the Muhajirin, emigrants. Narrated by Muslim, 315. Abu Abdurrahman reported, three persons came to Abdullah ibn Amr ibn Alas while I was sitting with him and said, By Allah, we have nothing with us either in the form of provision, riding animals, or wealth. He said to them, I am prepared to do whatever you like. If you wish, you can come back to us, and we will give you what Allah will make available for you. And if you wish, I will mention your case to the ruler. And if you wish, you can show patience, for I have heard the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, say. 
The poor among the Muhajirin, emigrants, will precede the rich by forty years in getting into paradise on the day of resurrection. Thereupon, they said, then we show patience and ask for nothing. Narrated by Muslim, 2979 The Reward of Positive Thinking About Allah Almighty Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Prophet, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. Allah Almighty says, I am as my servant thinks of me. Narrated by Al-Bukhari, 7405, and Muslim, 2675. The Reward of Spreading the Greeting of Peace Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. You will not enter paradise until you believe, and you will not believe until you love one another. Shall I inform you of something, which if you do, you will love one another? Spread the greeting of peace amongst you. Narrated by Muslim, 93. Abdullah ibn Salam, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, I heard the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, say. O oh people, spread the greeting of peace, feed the poor, uphold the ties of kinship, and pray at night while people are asleep, you will enter paradise in peace. Narrated by Atamidi, he classified it as Hassan, sound, and Sahih, authentic. The Reward of Greeting One's Family Anas, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said to me. O oh my son, when you enter your house, greet your family, for it will be a blessing for you and your family. Narrated by Atamidi, 2698, he classified it as Hassan, good, and Sahih, authentic. The Reward of the Merciful People Osama ibn Zaid, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Prophet, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. Indeed, Allah shows mercy to those of his servants who are merciful. Narrated by al-Bukhari, 1284, and Muslim, 923. The Reward of Supplication at the Time of Answering Jabir, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, heard the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, Say, there is an hour during the night at which no Muslim man will ask. Allah for good in this world and the hereafter except that he will give it to him, and that applies to every night. Narrated by Muslim, 757 The Reward of Calling People to Allah Saul ibn Sa'd, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. If Allah guides one man through you, this is better for you than possessing red camels. Narrated by Al-Bukhari, 3009, and Muslim, 2406. Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. Whoever calls to guidance, his reward will be equivalent to those who follow him, without that detracting from their rewards anything. And whoever calls to misguidance will incur a sin equivalent to these of the people who follow him, without that detracting from their sins anything. Narrated by Muslim, 2674. Jarrah ibn Abdullah, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. Whoever introduces a good practice in Islam, and it is followed after him, he will have a reward equivalent to the rewards of those who act upon it. Without that detracting from their rewards anything. And whoever introduces a bad practice in Islam and it is followed after him, he will incur a sin equivalent to the sins of those who act upon it, without that detracting from their sins anything. Narrated by Muslim, 1017 The Reward of Conveying the Prophet's Hadiths Ibn Masyudi, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, I heard the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, say. May Allah brighten a man who hears something from us and conveys it to others exactly as he has heard it, for the recipient of knowledge may understand it better than the one who has heard it. Narrated by at 2657, he classified it as Hassan, good, and Sahih, authentic. Anas ibn Malik, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Messenger of Allah, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. Indeed, Allah is pleased with his servant who praises him when he eats and praises him when he drinks. Narrated by Muslim, 2734.